Big task and little batteries. Can you complete each challenge before the battery power runs out? Yep. Thanks for tuning in today to another review out of Tantrum House Studio J. Today we're going to be reviewing the game Quirky Circuits from Plaid Hat Games. <laughs> Uh, Plat Hat Games was kind enough to send us a copy and we've been able to get it to our table a few times so we could give you this comprehensive review. Thanks for tuning in today to another video at a Tantrum House Studio J. I'm Jonah Dew. And I'm Chantel Dew, and today we're looking at Quirky Circuits from Plaid Hat Games. So in this game, each player will go ahead and give out commands to a little tiny robot <laughs> to go ahead and complete each scenario until or before their battery life runs out. Right. This game can be played from two for two to four players, and it goes somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. Each scenario has a different difficulty level so once you go ahead and beat it you can actually ump up the difficulty and see if you can complete that one right exactly this is another game that utilizes the scenario books if you've been following any of our other reviews you know that I'm a big fan of scenario books and quirky circuits does it really well so you don't have to do any like game setup or tile yes. placement to get your board it's more flip to the page of the scenario that you want read the instructions set it up and get to playing so let's jump in and see how it's played to start the game, choose a scenario from the scenario book. This game comes with 24 ready to play scenarios. Read through the scenario that you've selected because it will tell you the figure, reference tile, and command cards for the robot indicated by the scenario. Place the figure on the arrow space facing the indicated direction and place the battery marker on the highest space on the battery track. Make sure you follow any other scenario specific rules and instructions listed and then deal command cards to each player based on the number of players. Then you're ready for the program phase. During the program phase, players collectively play command cards face down without revealing them. Each player must play at least one card from their hand and in the total, the players must play five or more cards. Once players finish playing cards into the queue, those cards are revealed and resolved in the order they were played, which causes the robot figure to be maneuvered about. In the reset phase, once all the cards in the queue have been resolved, you should collect the used command cards and shuffle them into the bottom of the command deck. Move the battery marker down one space of the battery track and deal cards to the players until each player has a full hand of cards. So Quirky Circus, we actually really liked it a lot. Um, so we got to play with a couple of friends and also family members. And the one thing for me that I've realized that it depends on who you play with. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to, in the game, you can't really give out gestures of like what direction you're supposed to move the little robot friend. Um, so we found out, especially with family, like, man, if you are not going in the direction I need you to go, this is about to be a tough game. Right. It's actually <laughs> a lot harder than it seems. Yeah. Yes. Because when you're playing those cards, there's no communicating of any type of like telling the other person right. what space you're going or how many spaces you're moving. One of the things as well that made it really challenging is some of the forward going spaces or even backward going spaces have more than one space on one card. So you could play a card and move forward three spaces. Well, and if I don't know that you right. are moving forward three, but I know that, you know, like in the first scenario, it's a cat and it's supposed to be collecting like a Roomba cat, you yeah. know? Yeah, Gizmo, uh, he's collecting Gizmo. dust bunnies. Correct. <laughs> so if we have four spaces of dust bunnies and I put down, well, I have a car that I can move up three, but Jonah thinks that I only moved up one. Yep. I have to pray that he picked out the right card. <laughs> right. So then I'll play a card and it's almost like wasting cards because we're like bumping up against the wall, not yes. going anywhere. Uh, direction. Hey, if you're directionally challenged, <laughs> this could be tough too. 
because there's cars that turn you right or left, and so if you're not, you got to think of what direction your robot's headed, because yep. you can turn them the wrong way. It, it was actually way harder. So yes. one of the things that Chantel said was you can up the difficulty level, which I actually really appreciated, but at the same time, I was like, who who can up the difficulty level? This is, this is tough. Um, but anyway, it's like getting uh, the mission completed, the scenario-specific goal completed, like, and certain levels of the battery power, how you make it a little harder. So that was fun and uh, we enjoyed getting it to the table a few times yeah like like we mentioned before that scenario book I mean we love games that are like that it's just that the setup is so easy yep. you don't have all these pieces you don't have to make sure you put it all back in the board you know in the box accordingly you just have to go yeah. ahead and flip the pages and you just have so much I think you have more playability out of it as well yep. because you have the different scenarios in the playbook yeah one of the things that I really like about the books is that it makes you want to keep playing like sometimes just depending on what the game is if you have to take a lot of time with the setup or the tear down to set up the new game or the new scenario then sometimes you only get one or two games in even though you might want to play because it's yeah. like I, I mean I just don't feel like setting it up right or taking <laughs> it down whatever it is but with these games you're able to play a lot of scenarios like back to back because it's literally like flip the page put the new pieces out go like we know how to play so that's really fun uh and that's one of the reasons why i'm enjoying scenario books and another one of the reasons why quirky circuits was a was a thumbs up game it was it was all good to go it's not super heavy no or it's not. Yeah. um or takes a lot to understand what's happening. I think the ages on that game are eight plus, so you can honestly play with a big portion of your family or younger players as well. That was super fun, and uh, just depending on who you play with, depends on if you're gonna do well or not do well, because you definitely need to know your <laughs> right from your left and your forward from your backward, and and anyway, uh, you guys will get the, get the point if you ever play Quirky Circuits from Plaid Hat Games. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, if you wanna see more, uh, just subscribe, like, uh, like comment, follow, uh, <laughs> do all of those things, and we'll see you later. Big task, little batteries. I wasn't ready. Oh, my hand sorry. My face. <laughs> okay, put your hand down. One, two, three.